Speaking of nuclear power, Pakistan is expanding its nuclear arsenal. Even as the citizens struggle for basic necessities, Islamabad, or should I say Rawalpindi, is chasing a bigger nuclear stockpile. A new report is out, and it is revealing. It looks into Pakistan's nuclear program and how it is being steadily ramped up. More warheads are being added. The military is getting more delivery systems, also new launch facilities. Tonight, we'll bring you all the details. How many nuclear warheads does Pakistan have? At least 170, 170. <clears throat> the highest number ever. In 2018, Pakistan had 150 warheads. In 2020, they added 10. And in three years, they've added another 10. So you could say Pakistan's arsenal is growing at a faster pace. In the past four years, they've added some 20 warheads. This expansion should worry neighbors like India. It has certainly taken experts by surprise. You see, in 1999, the US had made a projection. They said that by the year 2020, Pakistan would have 60 to 80 warheads. 60 to 80 by 2020. Look at the current number, 170. That's more than twice the estimate. And it won't end here. Pakistan's stockpile could grow further. That's what a new projection says. That they're aiming for 200 warheads. And they could get there by the end of this decade. If Pakistan keeps producing at the current pace, they will have 200 warheads by the end of this decade. And Rawalpindi is trying to make sure that happens. It is building more infrastructure. There are facilities that can enrich uranium. What is the current production rate? Experts believe Pakistan can build 14 to 27 warheads every year. How is that even possible? To answer that, we must first tell you about fissile material. It's like lighting a matchstick. When you strike on a rough surface, a matchstick lights up. Now imagine there are other matchsticks lined up close. One flame will end up igniting all of them. And that's what fissile material does in a nuclear bomb. When a nuclear weapon is fired, the fissile material starts a reaction. It releases massive amounts of energy, and this finally leads to an explosion. Usually, two kinds of materials are used for this. Plutonium-239 and Ukrainium-235. Uranium-235. They make the nuclear bomb. And they make the bomb work. They fuel the bomb. Reports say Pakistan is now making enough of these materials, and that is how they can accelerate warhead production. But having a warhead is not enough. You need somewhere to fire it from, and Pakistan is making strides in that department too. We have a breakup for you. First, let's talk about the land-based systems. Pakistan has at least six of them. It plans to add at least two more. They're believed to be in development. Next, we have the garrisons. This is where they're being... They believe to be keeping their nukes in garrisons. And how many garrisons does Pakistan have? At least five. We have the names. Akro, Gujranwala, Khuzdar, Pano Akil, and Sargoda. These are the names of the garrisons. Two of them are in northern Pakistan. Three are in the south. What about air power? Pakistan has four air bases. This is where they keep their nuclear-capable aircraft. Minhas or Kamra, Rafiki, Shehbaz, and Masroor. These are the names of their air bases. Two are in the north and two are in, in the south. And what kind of planes can fire nukes? Two aircraft in Pakistan's arsenal can do the job. The Mirage 3 and the Mirage 5. How many squadrons? At least five. Pakistan has given them special names. Bandits, Heathers, Ghazis, Cobras and Zarras. Needless to say, all of these bases and garrisons are close to the Indian border for obvious reasons. It also shows that Pakistan has a pretty exhaustive plan to ramp up its nukes. And this should worry the world, not just India, the rest of the world too. Last year, US President Joe Biden spoke about this. He said, and I quote, I think Pakistan is maybe one of the most dangerous nations in the world. Nuclear weapons without any cohesion. That's what he said about Pakistan. Now, Islamabad had called this claim baseless. But soon after that, the entire nation plunged into economic turmoil. The suffering has been immense, but only for the people, not for the Pakistani military. Their assets and budgets keep growing, and now Pakistan's nuclear reserves are on the rise. So here's what we'd like to ask. Is the IMF watching this? How is a country that survives on bailouts being allowed to build these dangerous weapons? 
And how is the world okay with this?